And then there's um, John Vogel. He did backgrounds for part one. He did some um, stop motion animation stuff for part two. And he did some backgrounds in part three. Uh, he worked on backgrounds along with Tony Goski. Tony's probably one of the most respected artists in, in this department. He's probably, you know, probably one of the best artists in any industry. And he conceptualizes backgrounds as well. This is the Soul Chamber. And this is where. Um be a tornado. He never, never ceases to amaze us. Steve Buran worked on Mortal Kombat 3. That was the first one he worked on, and he did the character graphics for John Tobias. I like doing stuff that's actually kind of shocking. Not, not so much violent or anything, but just stuff that gets a reaction. Dave Mikicic, he's like our resident 3D expert. He um, kind of got everybody up to speed on doing 3D stuff, and he can crank out anything using a 3D program faster than anybody in the world. This is Ken Gordon from Mortal Kombat fan. Hi. Dan is, shows you cool stuff every every couple of days. He just comes in and you go, great, this is awesome. And he's a lot like that, where I just have this confidence that you know he's going to go away and come back with something spectacular. Let's see, Johnny Cage Nut Crunch, I believe. Didn't, didn't someone make a candy bar? Johnny Cage Nut what Crunch bar? Oh! Uh, John, Tobias, um, and some of the other guys from the Mortal Kombat team happened to just uh, come up to me and, you know, kind of poke on my arm and say, do you uh, want to do a character? And I said, I don't know, can I do a character? And he said, yeah, we'd love to have it. People don't realize that there is a lot of work done in the actual characters and their costumes. I've never asked John for a, a character that looks like something. He shows me something that says, what do you think of that? And I go, that's great. See, the inspiration, I think, for a lot of the characters come from all over the place. I mean, uh, they come from movies I've seen when I was a kid. Uh, they come from books I've read. I mean, everybody gets inspiration from somewhere. Um, I started out with NBA Jam as a cheerleader, and then I went to Revolution X as Mr. Selga, and they asked me to do Mortal Kombat. They needed me Sonya. I said, sure, I'd love to do it. Pizza, man. When I was a character here, that sort of like funded me going to, you know, going to school, because I wanted to be an artist like all my life. As with all the Mortal Kombat games, the characters are definitely the most interesting of any fighting game. Hey, 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 get out of here, man! It's supposed to be Between here. Sector and Raiden, who would win? Sector Raiden would win. Sector's got it in the back. Raiden would win. Don't even try to f*** it. Sector, you can tell me. No, 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 get your head out. We're gonna to settle to this outside, man. Oh, I'm getting good for it now, buddy. Come on. Come on, pal. Come, come on. on. Come on. Come on. Well, let's see. A character would probably first start with me sitting down, staring at a blank wall for a little while, and then after a while, something will hit me, and I'll just start sketching around different ideas. We went months and months not having names for these characters, and then we'd have these powwow sessions where everybody would kind of throw out names. Shang T. Sung. Look at that side bot. Hey, ignore Shang T. Side for Shang T. The maybe is a military prototype. And the other one is just like a security guard at a mall that didn't work out right. <laughs> uh, side bot X11? There goes X11. See, I, anything with X is cool. I like X11. <laughs> there it goes. Side bot. That's the bias backwards. Yeah, no, but I think it sounds cool. It does sound cool. So everybody's just, everybody's just a good, C-Bot. That could be a, a good name for the robot. Robot, side bot We're gonna have Mayo. That's the secret <laughs> character. No Cybot. Oh man! Why? Defcon is overused. Where? Where? Everywhere. No. no. I've heard that so many what? times. Yeah, every time you watch war games. Same. Yeah, we well, you know what's gonna happen. We're gonna come up. We're gonna come up with all the names. We're all gonna like them, and Ed's gonna hate every one of them. Ninety-five percent of them, somebody would say a name, and then there'd be one of us of the five or six of us who would who would just you know have a heart attack just because they hated it so much, and then we're like, okay, I guess that's a no. Ooh. That's good. Don't show that to me. When we started filming a character, we'd get into work probably roughly around 10 o'clock, and usually the whole filming process takes, you know, all day. Oh, an average day of a 14-hour shoot? Um, <laughs> let's see. Well, we came in and got into makeup. It didn't take too long for sewing. She doesn't wear much. And then we start, we have a list. A huge list of animations, kicks, punches, uppercuts, and then the special moves and stuff. And we basically go down that list, capturing every single frame of, um, of, of them performing these moves.